what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in brackets in this video we're going to cover how to work with text in our paragraphs so let's say that i'm going to create a paragraph over here and i'm going to say i'm going to actually create them with a uh, small piece but it actually gives us a uh, good example that if i would want to create these paragraphs over here these tags i could actually create them with a big letters however it's just a common practice that we're adding all the elements within our tags with the small ones. So I could have written this with the with the large cap, but I'm I just I'm writing this with a small cap because it's a common practice. So over here I have a paragraph, right? So I have an opening uh, tag and a closing tag. So over here I'm gonna write I am, and I'm just gonna leave this blank for now, and I'm gonna copy this let's say four times, right? And then over here I'm gonna write I am. And I'm going to write this tag over here, and you'll see what it does in a second. And I'm going to say italic text, right? And we can right away, if we go over here and we just zoom in, we can see that this text is italic, right? So let me show you another way how we can do that. Let's say I would create a tag, which is B, which stands for bold. And you already guessed it probably that I would write over here bold text. And I would go to paragraph number three, and over here I would write a em element. And em element, you'll see what it does. Italic. Well, I'm gonna write I am em element, and and em would stand for emphasis. And over here I'm gonna write strong. And again, I'm gonna write here I am, let's say strong strong element okay and you can see that i actually misspelled over here i didn't say put strong so right away as i'm correcting over here strong you see the brackets is telling me hey listen buddy your uh, closing tags actually doesn't match the beginning tag so if i add over here strong and now i have strong element added to my page now you right away gonna tell me then well what is the difference i mean visually they're both the same right well visually there is no difference right you can see that this is let's say an italic text and the same with em element uh, emphasis element it would be the same thing and the same with bold and strong however with text to speech programs there's a difference how they read it let's say if they're reading over here just this bold they would actually ignore it because this is just styling However, with the strong element, they're actually put a stronger emphasis as they're reading out this element. So it actually serves really well for those programs. Therefore, it's actually the common practice is just use uh, emphasis and strong instead of italic and bold. I'm just showing you so you would, uh, whenever you come across the italic or bold, so you wouldn't be confused and you wouldn't think, well, what is this element? But common practices that we're using emphasis and strong elements in order to get both style and the actual purpose of those elements. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.